I've got a new hairstyle on for me. It's nothing crazy, just a slick back ponytail. I don't know if it's working for me. I think it looks really cool on other people, so I wanted to give it a go. Also, I have dirty hair, so I thought now is a perfect time to try it out. Anyways, hello everyone. Welcome back to another video. I'm so excited to be sitting down and finally filming this. I've been wanting to film this video for ages now, but I have just been so busy. I know that's not an excuse, but I've just honestly been so crazy busy on the ship it's just been go 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 i've been trying to keep up with the vlogs while working full time and trying to just have somewhat of a balance in my life so it's a long time coming but today is the day finally we are sitting down and talking all about crew bar what it is what goes on there and answering all your questions. I know you guys were really interested to learn more about Crew Bar because I don't really film when I go back there, but I thought this would be an interesting topic to discuss on my channel because you guys don't have access to any of the crew areas and I don't know about you, but I'm a little bit nosy, so I like to know what goes on behind the scenes. If you are new here and you're confused, my name is Jordan. I work on a cruise ship. I'm a pro figure skater and I have been on board this contract for over eight months now. Before we hop into it, make sure to follow my socials if you're interested, I'll have them below as always. I'm very active on Instagram, so make sure to follow me on there, it's just jbouth. And let's jump into the video. So first and foremost, what is Crew Bar? So it is exactly what it sounds like. It is a bar designated for the crew members that work on board. As entertainers like myself, I am allowed to go to the guest bars around the ship, but when I am in guest areas, I do need to be in either uniform or after 6 p.m. I need to be in smart casual or formal wear with my name badge and and it is definitely a different experience than if I'm at the crew bar. Crew bar, I can show up literally in my pajamas and have a drink with my friends if I want. That does not fly in the guest areas. So it's definitely a different atmosphere, but it's really fun and it's a nice place for people to socialize, unwind, grab a drink, and just relax after a long day of work. Crew bar is different on every single ship. So depending on what class of ship you work on, the crew bar, crew bar sorry, might be different so I've never worked on quantum class and I never will have the ability to because there's no studio B there so I can't talk on behalf of that class but on Voyager class which is the class ship I'm on right now there is one crew bar and I also worked on Oasis class which has three bars for the crew members so as a crew member we call crew bar back deck because it is at the back of the ship so when you're asking somebody if you're going out tonight, instead of saying, oh, are you going to crew bar, you say, oh, are you going back deck? In a way, it's really nice that we only have one bar for the crew members here because it's a place that everyone goes to, so you know that you will see everyone there. On Oasis class, like I said, there are three bars for the crew, so they're on different levels of the ship. And because there are more, you might not see everyone there at the same time. Crew bar on Voyager class also is outside. So with this itinerary, we've had this contract. It's been so cold in Scandinavia. And now that it's fall time and we're out of Boston and we're in Canada, you just want to bundle up when you go there. In the Caribbean, it's a much nicer atmosphere and vibe because it's warmer weather and you can get really dressed up cute, wear like a little outfit, but you don't have to. That's just my personal opinion. I love to get dressed up when I go to crew bar. I either show up to crew bar fully dressed, makeup, hair done, everything, or I look like a toe. There is no in between. <laughs> so like I said, back deck is outside. So it is open air, but we are covered over our heads. There are just like windows essentially at the back of the ship. Crew bar is also a smoking area here. On Oasis class, deck three bar is really only used for like special events or all crew parties, things like that. Deck five is a pub, which is a really nice vibe if you're just going to like chill and relax, sit and have a drink, play cards, game, something like that. And then deck six is more of like the clubby atmosphere. It's most similar to back deck here. It is also a smoking area and it is outdoors. However, on deck six, there aren't really big like openings on the sides of the bar where air can be circulated and ventilated so it's definitely more smoky because a lot of people go up there to smoke throughout the day even if they're not drinking like if the bar is not open it is a smoking area for the crew members the hours of the bar kind of vary again ship to ship but it is open every single day of the week we don't really have days of the week on the ship i've said that before we basically go off of day one 
day two, three, four, five, six, seven, and so on. I literally don't know what day of the week it is right now as I'm filming this. I just know that it's day four. <laughs> Here on Voyager, there are two bars where you can order drinks. Right next to back deck is the crew rack area where there are games and music, instruments, and slop chests, things like that. And there is an inside bar there where you can get coffees and also alcohol. So alcohol is not served until I want to say like six o'clock on a given day. You can get coffee throughout the day. It's open in the morning. And then the outside bar at Back Deck, I wanna say opens around five or six o'clock. And it can be open until two, three, four a.m. depending. If there are ever any restrictions with COVID and they have to cut back on hours or limit what we can and can't do, the bar will close at midnight or 11 or completely close entirely and you can only do takeout, but that hasn't really been the case here. Next thing to talk about, what does the bar offer for the crew members? We have pretty much a full bar, which is really, really nice. There's beer, so there's like Corona, Heineken, Blue Moon sometimes, Pilsner, Stella, I think that's pretty much it for beer. Then we have wine, of course, we have red, white, and rosé. So usually there's like a white Zinfandel, a Merlot, Cabernet, Riesling, Pinot Grigio. Like there's a bunch of different types of wine and they kind of rotate as time goes by. Sometimes they switch out what brands they carry. So that's a plus. And then they do also have liquor. So we've got you know, vodka, gin, tequila, rum, whiskey. I know we have Bailey's, like Kahlua. There's quite a bit to choose from. And then there are mixers, of course. So you can also just buy like a pop if you're at the bar. They've got like Coke, Diet Coke, Sprite, Fanta, club soda, tonic water. I think that's pretty much it. And then there is juice that you can purchase in the slop chest. They don't offer it at the bar, but like if you buy your own little case of juice you can i guess pour that into the alcohol you buy but yeah there is like a good range of alcohol at the bar the one thing that kind of is disappointing this contract is there are no like specialty drinks a lot of ships always end up having more to choose from as far as mixers are concerned or cocktails so you can order an actual cocktail most crew bars should have it but a lot of times they don't they can make like mojitos, margaritas, martinis, things like that. But maybe because of the budget, we don't have that here, which is quite unfortunate. And Crew Bar is amazing because it's a really fun way to socialize with the other people that work on the ship. There aren't events every single night at Back Deck, but Back Deck is open every single night and every so often they'll have different theme nights. So anytime there's any sort of Independence Day for a country that works on board the cruise ship, there is a party. It's actually really fun because they decorate it and sometimes they serve free beer and wine, which is really nice. Aside from Independence Days, there usually is a party for any holidays on board, which is really fun. Sometimes they have wine and cheese night, which is amazing. So they have like a big spread of different types of cheeses that you can pick. They also had like a live band night, which was insane like everyone showed up which was so fun and it was just such a good vibe it brought me back to my favorite like dad bar throughout college and it kind of transported me back to that bar because they always were playing live music so that is in a nutshell crew bar i did ask you to submit any questions you had because I figured there would be logistics and specific things you wanted to know about. So I'm gonna run through the list now and hopefully I can get to all of them. First question, what is my favorite or go-to drink? My favorite drink at Crew Bar is different than my favorite or go-to drink in general because they don't have resources to make it. I think my favorites, plural, cause I can't choose, my favorite, drink is either a cosmopolitan a margarita or just like a nice glass of sauvignon blanc or riesling but my favorite go-to order at crew bar is usually vodka soda like soda water and a splash of malibu i will say though i typically make my own drink and bring it to back deck so i have mango vodka so it's mango vodka, water, soda water, 
and some Malibu and it is so yummy. It's so fruity and like tropical and it just transports me to a beach or somewhere warm. Are there drink packages for the crew like the guests can buy? So if you have cruised before, which I'm assuming most of you have because you're watching my channel, you know that you can buy a package, a drink package and get all you can drink pretty much for the entire cruise. Unfortunately, they don't offer that for the crew members at Crew Bar. It would be so nice if they did, or at least like a punch card system where you like buy 10 drinks, get one free or something like that. There isn't that whatsoever. What are your favorite crew bar memories or go-to things to do when you go? It's really hard to say what my favorite memory was from crew bar because there's just so many good nights with my friends. I would say my favorite nights looking back are either the nights when everyone is out, there's music playing, and we're just dancing, having a good time. I absolutely love to dance so that's always so much fun to just dance with my friends or I also enjoy playing some sort of game cards like Monopoly deal or whatever uno some kind of game and sitting around and just having fun those are my two favorite types of nights at the bar does the ship keep track of how many drinks a night you have they do not I want to say it comes up in the system when you pay for a drink it'll show all your transactions but you aren't gonna get caught off after a certain number if you keep buying them because sometimes people pay for everyone that night or like another person. But we do have to be in control of ourselves and we need to be responsible because we can be called for an emergency at any given time. So you just need to be smart about how much you're drinking, how fast you're drinking and just be responsible. But that kind of goes with anyone who is drinking alcohol. Is there a menu for mixed drinks? Like I said, we don't really have like specialty drinks right now, but on my last contract, we did have a list, like a menu for cocktails, which was really, really nice. So it's really nice to have options. I'm kind of missing that we don't have that option. Like I said, I can go to the guest areas and get a fancy cocktail if I want to, but most of the time I just don't really feel like getting all glammed up and wearing my uniform to go have a drink. But it is sometimes nice to go have just one drink at a bar around the ship in guest areas because it is a change of scenery. Does the bar have a special drink? No, they don't, but that would be really cool if they had like a special specific set drink for the ship or for the crew bar. Do the staff for crew areas get rotated at guest areas? So the people that work at the crew bar, I mean, I'm not 100% on this, but from my understanding, I think they start working there and then if they do well, they can get promoted to move to a different area of the ship. So they start there and then eventually they can get transferred to a different bar on board in guest areas. Again, please don't quote me on it because I'm not 100% certain, but I'm pretty sure that's how it works. But again, not my area of expertise. What is the most requested drink? Since I'm not a bartender, I don't know the answer to this question, but I would probably guess beer just because it's the easiest and it's really cheap really really cheap that is a perfect lead into the next question are the drinks free so so unfortunately drinks are not free for the crew members I wish they were that would be amazing not that I spend that much money on alcohol but it is an added expense and it would be nice to not have to pay for it that being said the prices are incredible at crew bar it's been so long since I ordered a drink that I don't know the exact prices I want to say a beer is like $1.75, a glass of wine is I think $2 or $2.50, and then a mixed drink is $3.50, I think, or maybe $3, but give or take. So it's much less expensive than any other bar like on land would be. I forgot to mention this earlier, but you can also pre-order alcohol, so you can actually purchase bottles of wine bottles of liquor as well, but you have to order them the day ahead. So you kind of request to order whatever you want. The next day is when you can pick it up and then you can keep it in your cabin. So that is the main reason why I don't really order drinks at the bars because I have alcohol in the cabin and I'll make my own drink. I feel like in the long run, it saves you a lot of money. Personally, I don't really drink very often. And when I drink, I don't drink a lot. So I've had these bottles the entire contract. I still haven't finished. When I do, I just make myself a drink and bring it there. And then once it's gone, 
I come home or I stay and get like a soda or something and then come back. Is it common to tip in crew bar? I don't really know if majority of people do. Personally, I do tip just because it's the same as if I was at a bar on land. I would tip there as well, so I tip here. But I don't know. I want to say yes. I hope people do. Do drinks have to stay at the bar or can you leave with them? You can leave with them. Um, like I said, there is like a takeaway kind of situation. So you can order a drink, be at the bar, and then if you decide you want to go home or wherever you want to go inside to the, like the crew rec area, play pool or something, you can do that as well. You don't have to keep it back deck. How has the bar atmosphere changed post COVID? This is a great question. It has changed a lot over the years and since I have been on a ship since the restart, like literally I was the first ship back, I saw the entire evolution, so to speak. Um, now we are at a point where we do not have to wear masks in crew areas or guest areas, which is fabulous, unless there is like a spike or whatever. And it is great because we're feeling a bit of normalcy now. For the longest time, we didn't have any activities back deck, like we didn't have wine and cheese night, live music, all crew parties for Independence Day or other holidays, like we didn't have any of that. But now we actually have crew activities, which has done wonders for crew morale, I believe. At least in my opinion, it has. When there is something to do on the ship besides just like work and sleep, it's really great. We are social creatures, so we need to have that social time. And it's just been so much more fun to have things going on back deck. And it's just such a nice vibe now. It feels a lot more like pre-COVID days. I know that most countries have kind of fully moved on from COVID and it's amazing, but we're still kind of living in the past on the ship. Like we're very far behind. So the fact that we can have events like these now is just amazing. Do they play music at back deck? Yes, they do. There are big speakers and there is like an aux cord. So pretty much anyone can connect their phone or whatever laptop to play music, which is really, really nice. And it just makes such a big difference. Is alcohol allowed in the cabin? Like I said, you can pre-order alcohol and like buy a bottle. So you are allowed to have alcohol in the cabin. And that is what I do instead of purchasing when I'm at the bar. How often do you go? Me personally, I really don't go to crew bar or like back deck ever anymore. I haven't been in so long. It really is sort of a rare occurrence for me now. I know in previous contracts I went out more, but this contract we had such an amazing itinerary that I wanted to wake up super early every single day and get off the ship as soon as I could. So I wanted to just be fresh and ready and get like a good night of sleep, like a long night of sleep. I didn't want to get a few hours of sleep and then feel tired the next day. That's probably the main reason why I don't really go anymore. And I also feel like I'm kind of past that phase of life. Like I went to college already and that was more my party years then. So now I'm 25 and I'm not old by any means, but I'm not as young as I used to be. So it's kind of not really my vibe anymore. I would much rather do my skincare in my whole night routine and get comfy in bed than like stay up till 4 a.m. at the bar. But don't get me wrong, it's still a lot of fun when I do go, but it really doesn't happen all too often. And the last question is kind of a juicy one. It's, is the crew bar where crew go to find a hookup or take a date? I feel like the simple answer to say is yes. Um, I'm really not about hookup culture, but I support anyone who is like, it's just not for me. But again, simplest answer to this question is, I guess, yes, because it's the easiest place for the crew members to meet each other and like actually get to know each other outside of work. As far as taking them on a date there though is not really the vibe because it's not like a nice place. Not that it's not a nice place, but it's just like not really an amazing atmosphere. It's not like a nice restaurant or like a nice bar. It's really kind of minimal, like it's outdoors, there's a few chairs, there's a few bar stools, there's not really much, and it smells like smoke. So it's not an ideal date location. <laughs> but yes, it is where crew members meet each other, mingle, hang out, talk, so I'll leave you with that information.
But that is the end of this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed. I hope it was informative and helped you get a little more knowledge on what crew bar looks like for us. I have so many good memories at crew bar with my friends on all different contracts. So it is really nice to have for us. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed listening to me go on and on and on about crew bar. If you have any requests as usual, let me know. I am nearing the end of my contract, which is crazy to say, but really excited for the end. I'm just soaking in these last few weeks and I'm really, really looking forward to going home, seeing Coco, my parents, my friends, and being home for Christmas. But I love you guys to the moon and back. Thank you again for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys.